I've served my country for 34 years. And yes, I held a five-year-old boy in my arms. I knelt down beside him and said a prayer for him because I knew what his last 30 minutes of his life was like. What I've been trying to do my 34 years serving my nation is to save lives. That's why this whole thing needs to be fixed. If you think that this fentanyl crisis is going to get better because somehow the cartels are going to be concerned that there's so many Americans losing their lives, I want to be very clear, that is not going to happen. There is no one coming. They are going to have to be stopped. This is Victor Avila. It is a disaster down there, especially in El Paso. That was just at the border uh, a week and a half ago, and nothing has been done. Every time the White House says something like this, or Mallorca's continues to lie to the American public, it's an insult. It's a slap in the face to our border agents, to our HSI agents, ICE, DEA. They're being insulted by our own administration. Remember, it's not just the illegal immigrants that are coming in. It's the fentanyl. It's the methamphetamine. It's the national security threat of the terrorists. 116 of them have been detected and detained at the border. How many have infiltrated our country already? This is a, a, a national security crisis that we must wake up and pay attention. This is the United States of America. It's supposed to be sovereign land. We're supposed to be able to control our own border. We don't control the border. The criminal cartels, the ones looking at us right now, they control this border. The strongest nation in the world no longer controls the southern border, which has resulted in, in historic illegal immigration, historic drug flow, historic sex trafficking of women and children. This can be stopped. We, we've done it before. We got to defend the border. We got to save lives. You know, the, the sun is setting here behind us, and you know, I think any reasonable and prudent American knows that what is happening has caused some dark times, but the sun will also rise. And with that, tough men are gonna rise to the occasion. There is a dark winter coming for those who have hurt so many people. The question is how long will it take before those men are able to do what needs to be done? to show you know the american people what's really happening at that border but more importantly too how what's happening there directly impacts them and their families one of the problems that republicans and democrats alike have had for decades is that we look at that border through the lens of immigration only and what i'm really trying to do is illuminate the crimes against the state and against our country mm -hmm. and what's happening to our citizens last night the guide left them and so they just kept on walking and laid up here how much did they pay in the end cuantos es uh, ocho mil en americano 8,000. 8,000 to be abandoned three days in. Yes. Is that pretty normal where smugglers just abandon them like this in the desert? Yes, sir. Even all after the time. they paid all their fees, all their money, they just leave them out here? All the time. We've been embedded with the men and women of the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. We came to uncover the devastating impact of the Sinaloa cartel here, but also the collateral damage to the rest of our nation. Chief, what's the major change in tactics you're seeing in this area? The big shift being over the last year from drugs to bodies as the main commodity. So they're getting more money smuggling humans than they are for anything else. If the United States government does not designate these cartels as foreign terrorist organizations, I can tell you right now, all you have to do is look at what's happening in Mexico with the hyper-violence. It is coming to our country. When you talk about the cartels, we have to look at them for what they are. The United States government continues to attack the symptoms, drugs, weapons, human smuggling, human trafficking, and that's all important. But there's one thing that's responsible, and it is the Mexican cartels, and we have not taken them on.